this episode of HubFuel, we'll be going through how to set up the Zoho CRM integration with your HubSpot environment. First off, we need to actually install the application. So to do so, we'll just go to the top right hand side and then select App Marketplace, search for Zoho CRM. And once you've selected that, you then are presented with the option to install the application. Once you've selected the install application, you just need to select Next and then choose the relevant domain that your Zoho CRM environment resides within. For our test environment, this resides within the EU. So we'll select that and then choose connect to Zoho CRM. Providing you're satisfied with the access to the following information, you can select accept. And then because we're already logged into Zoho CRM, it will establish that this is our test environment and it will enable us to set up that sync. Now, one thing just to point out is that the objects across both CRMs do differ. So within Zoho, it treats contacts and leads as two separate objects, whereas HubSpot treat them both as the same thing. So for this reason, any instance that you're sending data from HubSpot to Zoho, it would determine what object is creating based on the lifecycle stage of that contact. So in the instance that the contact's lifecycle stage is a subscriber or a lead, it will create it as a lead within Zoho. And then in the instance that the lifecycle stage is anything thereafter, so MQL, SQL, Opportunity, Customer Evangelist or other, it will create that as a contact within Zoho CRM. For the sake of this video, we'll be demonstrating the company sync. So once we've selected that object, we can select next. You'll then be presented with the sync rules. So the first thing to point out here is you can establish the actual direction of the sync. So in the instance you really want data push from Zoho to HubSpot, you can simply select this and make these changes by going all companies on the HubSpot companies option and then selecting no companies. What this means is that data will only be pushed from Zoho into HubSpot and not vice versa. By default, if we were to select all companies, all records would actually be pushed across both systems for all accounts and companies created. Now we'll turn this off for the sake of the demonstration of this video. And just to highlight in the instance, you really want to select records from Zoho push through to HubSpot. You can use this drop down here to actually select out of the box or custom properties to establish this. For this video, we'll be demonstrating the account type and it has a specific value of venue. So if we just flick back to our Zoho CRM environment, you can see here we've got the account type as venue. So this record itself would be pushed through as part of the established sync. Just to go back to HubSpot, you can see that's how it's been set up in this instance. So any records that have this value would actually be a push through. A few other things just to highlight in the sync rules is that duplicates are managed at a company level based on the company's name or the domain name. So this is its way of avoiding any duplicate records being created as part of the sync. In addition to that, any syncs established and data being transmitted will always try and carry those associations through as well. So if you've got a contact or a company linked through association, then the sync itself across Zoho and CRM will try and maintain those associations when data is transmitted. In addition to that, automatic deletion of records isn't viable through the integration. So what this means is if you delete a record within HubSpot, it will not automatically delete that record within Zoho and vice versa. So make sure you maintain on top of this as part of GDPR compliance. Providing you're satisfied with the sync rules, you can go ahead and go to the field mappings. As you can see, out of the box, Zoho and HubSpot have established some default field mappings. So account name has already been mapped to company name within HubSpot for us. In the instance, you don't want any of these properties to be mapped as defined here. You can simply deselect them from choosing these options. So when data is transmitted from Zoho to CRM, for example, it will not automatically update the state and region with the billing state because we've turned that field mapping off. In addition to that, if you do need to establish any additional properties for mapping, you can simply do so by going add new mapping. Now, just to make you aware, within HubSpot, certain properties can't be updated through the sync. So for example, you can see here that industry is grayed out, which means that you can't push an industry from Zoho into HubSpot. Now, one example you can do is description to description. So once you've established the sync, select the tick box here to update. And as you can see now that any data that's transmitted for a company will carry the description value from Zoho and then populate that in HubSpot on the description value. Providing you're satisfied with all the mappings necessary to be put in place for the initial sync, you can go ahead and select review and then just check the information is correct. Upon satisfaction, you can select save and sync. Now, once that's established, you can actually go to one of the objects itself just to check that this has worked. So if I go to the company's object, as you can see here now, that this has actually created some brand new records for us today that's been established for the sync. So Club Eiffel Back and Exchange are two companies within Zoho that had the venue account type, which meant they were the selected records to actually push through through the sync. So just to validate that, if we go to actions and view properties, I go to the URL and then hover over details. You can see here that this was established through the API and then pulled through just now. I hope you found this video of use. Thank you very much for your time.